thing here. What time is that? <laughs> Hey everybody, Keith here from Geek Time TV, and it's a beautiful day here. Got the windows open, nice breeze coming through, and I had to stop for just a couple minutes to share something with you that I find so cringe. Now, you have to understand when I say cringe, that I have an 11-year-old daughter who, when she hears me say something like that, cringes because, you know, dad's not cool, and I shouldn't use hip terms like that, but this... <laughs> This, I think she'd agree with me on this one. So, as you know, there's been a Writers Guild of America strike for several months now. And part of the, uh, some would call it collateral damage, I call it a benefit to society, is that the late night TV shows have vanished from the airwaves because these writing staffs aren't available. So these comedians can't write their own material, so they decide they're going to go into hibernation in the interim. Uh, you know, it, it's funny because... These late night shows have sunk so far into the depths as far as entertainment value um, that they're be they've become practically irrelevant at this point. And, you know, people are going to say, oh, but you know, they've always made political jokes throughout time. And you Yeah, well, you know, when you think back to great late night hosts like Dave Letterman or Conan O'Brien, Johnny Carson, I'll even put Jay Leno in there. Uh, they did make political jokes, but the political jokes were fair game. They were aimed at either side, whoever was, you know, in power. They didn't, they didn't discriminate one way or the other. These guys have become mouthpieces for one side of the aisle, and they're propagating these horrible messages that the mainstream media peddles uh, to push this narrative on everybody. And quite frankly, they're insufferable, and I'm glad they're gone. Now... Yeah, go ahead and at me and say, oh, well, you, you seem to be pretty uh, up to what they were saying. And well, because you can't escape the cringe clips every day, right? So, um, so the, 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 these guys who love to smell their own farts posted something uh, the other day, and this is amazing. I think the first episode is dry. I probably should have looked before I did the video, but I, I can't. I, this is <laughs> just this little trailer is too much. So, Jimmy Kimmel, who loves to smell his farts, um, Posts on, on X, major life update. Whoa. Oh, be still my beating heart. Jimmy Kimmel has a major life update. Let's see what it is. For the remainder of the strike, at Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Fallon, Seth Meyers, and John Oliver and I are joining forces for a new podcast called Strike Force 5. Doesn't that sound like something Quentin Tarantino would put in one of his movies? Like, that'd be like five women, you know, that were like martial arts experts, and they'd kick people's asses, and they'd be called Strike Force Five. Uh, here are the first episode tomorrow, 8.30. Well, that was yesterday as I record this. Um, leave it in the comments below if you've actually listened to this. All proceeds, thanks to Casamigos and Mint Mobile, go to our support of our work staffs. And listen now, and the link is there provided. But, but we can't just read about it. Let's, let's listen to this trailer. Yeah, sorry. There's my boomer moment for you. So let's let's listen one more time, Jimmy. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'm oh, Stephen Colbert. I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I thought when you said Jimmy, you meant me, Jimmy, but you meant Jimmy, Jimmy. I always <laughs> mean you. <laughs> when you I say always Seth, mean <laughs> Seth Myers. Who do you mean? I mean John Oliver. That makes it's sense. the five of us together. For a, maybe an hour a, a day. Strike Force Five is the name of our podcast. Subscribe to it now. Mm -hmm. Spotify or wherever else you get your podcasts. But Spotify, you fucks. Okay, that's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, that's supposed to be some kind of sizzle reel trailer, I think, to lure you in. Uh, the old case of mistaken identity. Remember, these guys used to be comedians. Remember that. Wow. And, and I just, I don't want to like go crazy critiquing this, but this really looks like a COVID era locked in my basement kind of a uh, Zoom call. Uh, look, look at John Oliver. He can't even frame his shot right. That is awful. I'll give them credit for one thing. At least they all went out and bought microphones. They didn't use their webcam mics like they used to, but 
This is just awful. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, these guys are slipping more and more into irrelevancy. And, uh, well, quite frankly, they're out of their element. You're out of your element. Smash that like button. If so inclined, please leave a comment below. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do. And for everyone who has subscribed of late and everyone who subscribed before that, thank you so much. We're slowly growing, and it's very exciting. And uh, thank you for coming along on this journey with us. That's it for me. I'm going to go enjoy some of this weather. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching Geek Time TV. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, make sure to check the little bell icon anytime someone from our network drops new content here. Want some Geek Time swag? Check out the merchandise available in the Geek Time TV store, linked in the channel description below. Share Geek Time TV with friends, and as always, thank you for your support. We'll see you soon.